Welcome back to another video guys. In this video we're going to be taking another look at how to install the Forza Horizon 3 developer build. Yes, everyone has been commenting that they need another video of this and how to do it. They're getting all these errors and everything. They want an updated video. So that is what I'm bringing to you guys today. So as a disclaimer, I bought this game and I paid for it on the Windows Store. I paid the 60 bucks, so I don't see this as an issue, uh, me doing this. It's like I'm just re-downloading the game, basically. But with that being said, let's jump into your settings. You're going to want to go to Update and Security. Go to Windows Security. And you're going to want to open your Defender panel. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. And click on Manage Settings under Virus and Threat Protection Settings. One two, three, and four. You're going to want to turn all of those off. After you do that, just X off of this, go to four developers, and you're going to want to enable developer mode. It's going to come up with a pop-up window. Just click whatever, and then it should be turned on. After that, you can X off your settings or minimize it. We're going to need it again later. But next, you're going to want to go into the description. You're going to see four links. Uh, written down there. One is for the game, second one is for a torrent uh, downloader. I've provided a link for Qubit Torrent, that's what I used, it works fine. I don't see a problem with it. I would, I recommend not using uTorrent because that program is full of viruses, uh, as I've heard and I've witnessed myself. Um, database, browser, or database browser, you're gonna want, that's to modify the game database, uh, horsepower, wheels, uh, etc stuff like that and you're gonna need a zip um, archive uh, program thingy yeah so I did WinRAR I'm pretty sure you can do um, the uncompressed zip or whatever with that's built into Windows that'll work fine but jump down to the description grab this first link and paste it into your browser so it's gonna come up with this website I might look a little bit different for you. Mine looks like this because I have an account and I'm logged in already. But after you make an account, you're going to want to come back to this page, click the link again after you sign in, and you're going to want to hit um, original right here where you see developer build. Click on original. That's going to bring you to this page, and you'll see right here is the torrent RAR file uh, for, the, for the game. So when you open the zip, you're going to see opusdev.torrent. Just take that, drag it, and extract it to your desktop like I have here. After you do that, you're going to want to go click the back button. Come over here again to developer build and download Blizzard Mountain. This is going to be a mega link, which it's right here at the top of the screen after you click it. And this is 4.3 gigabytes, uh, and it downloads through mega and then through Chrome, so it might take a bit. Uh, but after you download that, you'll have a folder called Opus BM. Mine are empty. Uh, these are just dummy folders, so I can show you what to do. It's going to be the exact same way. Just follow what I do, and it will work for you. So after you do that, you're going to want to go to the website again, scroll down, and where you see Automated Tool, you're going to click here to download it, and the link is going to be right here where it says Download Here. You're going to click that. It's going to bring you to Zippy Share, and you're going to want to download it. It's going to download a RAR file with the file in it, which is right here, the uh, Auto Forza Horizon 3 V10, which is the newest up-to-date version. So, so far we have the torrent and the auto tool. Next up, you're going to want to get the update right here. Uh, the custom config file, don't worry about that. Uh, this one doesn't have anything special. You're not going to need it for anything you're doing. Um, if you want it, it's really simple to install. I'll show at the end of this video how to do it. But for now, you're going to go to Update. Click on Update. This is going to download through Google Chrome. Um, so this is going to be kind of slow too. This is 2 gigabytes. But you have the Update only. Then you have Update and Horsepower Mods, Update and Backfire Mods, or Update, Backfire, and Horsepower Mods. So choose which one you want. You're going to click on it. It's going to bring you here. Click You're Not a Robot, and it's going to take you to a Google Drive page you're going to want to download this and you can virus scan it if you want 100 percent safe there's nothing in it take my word for it or not scan it let other people know in the comments it's legit it's not going to hurt your computer 
So after that, you have all of the files that you need from this site other than this if you want it. So we're gonna pretend I have it downloaded right here. We'll do that at the end of the video. So now that you have your four files right here, uh, we can go ahead and minimize this, minimize that. After your game downloads, you're gonna wanna make your way to wherever you downloaded your game. And it's gonna look something like this. So what you're gonna wanna do is go out one folder till you see Opus Dev, right click it, hit properties, and where it says read only, you're gonna wanna uncheck that box. Click apply, click okay, click okay. Open the game back up, and you're gonna wanna drag and drop your auto tool into the game database, or the game directory. After you do that, you're gonna double click it, make sure it's running as an admin, uh, it'll tell you where to have it, and you have it in there. You're gonna click fix for Forza Horizon 3, and if you haven't done this before, which most of you probably haven't, you're gonna do that the dev build is not registered on this PC, um, but I've already done it, so we're gonna go ahead and do already registered. Hit next, it's gonna register your files, and then it's gonna say done. You're gonna hit finish. It's gonna ask if you want shortcuts, you can hit yes or no. We're just gonna hit yes for the sake of the video, and you X off it, and that's it. Now, if you double click launch Opus, your game should open, and it should start loading, and it should work like the normal game. Uh, so after that, you're going to want to take your Opus BM folder, drag it and drop it into here, and it'll look something like this. It's going to be full of files. Uh, it's going to have uh, a media file, an Apex metadata file probably, and all this other stuff. Or an Apex manifest is what it has, but go ahead and delete that stuff because you, you'll have all your regular files. So pretend we have files in here. You're going to drag your auto tool into your Opus folder, into your Blizzard Mountain folder. Double click it, run it as an administrator. Hit OK, and you're going to hit Fix for Blizzard Mountain this time. You're going to hit Not Registered, hit Next. It's going to register it, say Done, hit Finish. So now it's done. Now if you launch the game, you'll have Blizzard Mountain. So the last thing is the ultimate all-in-one update. You're going to dra you're going to open this actually, and it's going to look similar to this, but in this folder. So everything in here is going to be the new updated files. So you're going to highlight everything or control A, drag them and drop them in your media folder in your game directory. Well, in your, yeah, in your, just in your media folder, drag them and drop them in there. It's going to ask you to replace a bunch of stuff, hit yes for everything. And it will replace the older files with all the new updated ones. So after you do that, you're good to go. You're good to launch Opus and your game will, ro will work and you're good to launch Opus and your game will work. Next, now if you wanted the command line, you're gonna open File Explorer, you're gonna go to this PC, you're gonna go to wherever your profile is, you're gonna hit View, and you're gonna wanna do Hidden Items, you're gonna wanna check that, so that way you can see the App Data folder, you're gonna go in here, go to Local, go to Packages, and you're gonna wanna scroll down until you see Microsoft.OpusPG, which is right here. Once you see that, you're gonna open it. You're gonna go to temp, temp state and scratch. This is where you're gonna drag your command line file. This is where it's gonna do its work. So also if you take big screenshots in the game through the developer menu, they're also going to go into this folder. So let's X off that. So we're gonna launch the game. Actually, before we do that, you're gonna wanna go back to your settings. You're gonna need a keyboard. You're gonna to go to time and language, language, and add a preferred language. You're gonna to wanna to add English, United Kingdom. You're gonna need the tilde key. It's in the top left, right under the escape key. That is how you open the developer menu. To make sure that you have the British keyboard on, you're gonna hold your Windows key and press the space bar. Whichever one is highlighted is the keyboard you have. So as you can see here, I have the United Kingdom keyboard selected. We're gonna let go of the Windows button and it goes away. Next, we're just going to launch up the game, and I'll talk to you guys once it's open. So once the game opens, uh, if you click the tilde key, you go down to menu, press right on the arrow keys, go to overlays, or not overlays, scroll down until you see debug overlays, right here, and hit hide all, and that's going to get rid of the your system information and your command line up at the top. Uh, obviously you're gonna wanna hide that when you're playing because it just looks 
not that good. Uh, and then you can either go all the way back or press your tilde key to close the menu and go in, enter the game, continue. Uh, you're going to have to make a new profile for this because a newer profile is not going to work because your, your new profile is on a way, or your current profile is on a way newer version of the game than this is. So you're going to have to make a new profile, launch the game, and once you get in and start playing, uh, you have to, I believe you have to unlock the second festival site and then you can start modding and doing everything because if not and you go mess around in the dev menu, before you unlock that second site, you risk making it so you can't go into the auto show. I've done it a few times. You have to completely make another profile and start over again or delete your save and start over like that. Uh, so just just unlock the second festival site and then start messing around with the dev menu. But that is basically it for this video. I hope you guys get it to work. You should 100% be able to get everything to work. Um, like I said, if you follow it 100%, just like I did it, you should have no problems. If you do, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll get back to it as soon as possible. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment down below if you need any help, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.